Happy Friday, everybody. So uh, we have two cases today. Uh, first case is an adipose stem cell procedure. Um, and our second case is actually a uh, really interesting case. If you watched last week's episode, um, we talked a little bit about a uh, patient who had shingles that uh, the lesions are gone, but uh, she still is, uh, is having some uh, post-herpetic pain. Uh, that got rescheduled to this week. So. Um, I'm really excited for that procedure uh, just because it's nice to be able to help patients who are kind of, you know, the, the conventional system just kind of tosses their hands up and, and throws just some uh, kind of temporary pain relief at that type of stuff. And so uh, we'll most likely be doing a thoracic paravertebral injection, uh, which is going to help bathe the, uh, the nerve root uh, and the dorsal root ganglia uh, in conjunction with a um, thoracic rectus spinae plane hydrodissection and then an intercostal uh, plane hydrodissection. So that, uh, that's our second case of the day, which is uh, gonna, be, uh, gonna be nice and fun. And then our first case of the day, an adipose stem cell procedure uh, to help a patient with some uh, tinnitus that's coming from the, uh, the neck region. So that's our day. We are gonna get going here. Let's do it.
All right, we just finished up another week here, another Friday. Friday's at our peace. So uh, today we had, uh, ended up having two procedures. We had our adipose stem cell procedure and then our second procedure, which is the one I wanna talk about a bit more just because I find it a, a really fascinating case, uh, is a post shingles uh, pain uh, patient that we had uh, who's having pain. After having shingles, the pain is still continuing uh, and hasn't gone away and so what we ended up doing today was we did a thoracic paravertebral injection, which is gonna to help to uh, calm down some of the actual nerve roots as they're coming off the spinal cord in the thoracic region. Because remember the virus that causes shingles is gonna live in those nerve roots in the dorsal root ganglia. And that's where a lot of uh, some of that pain is coming from. And so uh, we used uh, Quinton, which is some C minerals, uh, along with uh, D5W or D, uh, well, we used D50 to make D5W, so some dextrose, then a homeopathic anti-inflammatory trau meal. Uh, we did a thoracic pair of vertebral injection at T8, which is gonna spread up and down uh, to bathe those nerve roots and the dorsal root ganglia uh, to help calm down some of that pain. We also did a thoracic erector spinae plane hydrodissection with the same solution. And what we're doing there is we're taking the needle and we're placing it up against the transverse process. Here's our transverse process. Here's the back of the body. Here's the erector spinae group. We bring a needle up to the transverse process and then we inject the fluid between the TP and the erector spinae group. That opens up, which then that fluid can travel up and down because you have nerves and things in that area that travel through that area, we end up treating some of the nerves because of that. And so uh, mainly there, uh, we're getting some of the dorsal root ganglia and we are getting uh, some of the medial cutaneous branches off the dorsal rami, which are gonna innervate kind of the mid portion of the back, kind of think between your spine and your shoulder blade kind of in that region. And the last one that we did, uh, we decided not to do an intercostal nerve block or sorry, intercostal nerve hydrodissection because the uh, the distribution for her paresthesias was actually uh, a, uh, basically T7, T8, kind of T9, but mainly set around T8. So we actually decided to do a serratus anterior plane hydrodissection. So find the serratus anterior, come just deep to that, uh, and we do underneath, and then I also do usually on top of serratus anterior. But again, our goal is to open up the fascial plane in that area between the muscle groups because that's where some of the nerves are traveling and we can have an impact specifically there on the lateral cutaneous branches off the dorsal rami, which are gonna provide sensation from the outside kind of more towards the uh, the front of the chest. And so that was our second procedure for the day. Uh, we had a, a great day here, a good week, and I hope you all are enjoying this. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know which part you liked uh, and wanna see more of. See you later, everybody.